Hey there guys and welcome back to the Saladin campaign. Next we're going to take on the mission Jihad and this one is going to be a little difficult especially at the start but eventually um, it becomes a lot easier so uh, let's dive in and see if we can do this in a respectable time. This might actually be one of the longest scenarios uh, once uh, because you do start in the castle age once again you got to get to the imperial age and uh, it, it just takes a long time to defeat your enemies on this. So, we'll see how we do. Tiberius, twenty and a half years of bloodshed. We are far from the ocean, so the citizens interpret the smell of salt and commotion of sea birds as signs from heaven. I sit near Saladin's tent, watching the butchery below. Citizen horse archers sweep through yet another unorganized mob of European soldiers. The great crusader nations have been reduced to puny city-states. Only Tiberius, Tyre, and Ascalon are still in Crusader hands. Nonetheless, these three cities are well fortified and could withstand any siege. Saladin has had many victories on the open desert, but the Crusader castles are unparalleled. If he is victorious now, the Holy Land will belong to the Saracens again. A failure could mean decades more of carnage. Alright, so the objective of this scenario is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is defeat two of the three Crusader states. Now there is Tiberius, Tyre, and there's Ascalon. You're pretty much going to have to take Ascalon out um, every time because they built. They are the ones that build a wonder. Usually, they start building it pretty early, so you probably need to take them out. And you can also trade with the town of Hebron, which is the light blue, uh, the cyan player. Uh, I don't think they ever get attacked, so you don't really know, need to worry about this. But all you start with in this scenario is three villagers and a couple fishing boats. So let's get the fishing boats on the on the go. Let's, let's start making villagers. And I'm going to start making some farms first of all. Uh, I'll actually get this guy out. There's also the triple E guard, which attacks you like um, around 30 minutes in. You could see a villager escape in there, but... You can let that villager live. Actually, you don't you don't need to um, do anything with him. But yeah, I'm gonna get a couple farms going. Uh, you don't really have access to much wood, so I start chopping down these trees kind of around the uh, town center, I would say. And you definitely want to have as many villagers as you can on stone when you're starting out, because stone is going to be one of your most important uh, resources. Uh, I'm actually going to get a villager out here first. Now, fishing ships are very useful at the start, but you're probably eventually going to have to actually... Um, they will probably uh, bite the dust. And here is some trade carts coming in from Hebron. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to destroy parts of this wall, uh, just so it makes it easier to for a castle to go and actually... Um, uh, a castle can, uh, can fire properly. Or easier whatever you want to say. So we are going to build a gate here and we are going to collect as much stone as we really can at the start. Uh, obviously you're not really going to have population troubles. Uh, I think you need to delete this house to get a castle in there so I'll also delete that. And we'll get this gate up and start mining stone. Now the triple E guards should just be east of you but you really don't want to attack them. <laughs> like that is a pretty bad idea. I would suggest making knights because they do have a couple rams. Or is it just one ram? It might just be one ram, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, can I get stone mining now? Or I already I might already have it actually. Okay, so we need as many on stone right now as possible. Uh, even after they attack you, you probably want to put a castle up around here. Because uh, Tyre will come at you with some boats or stuff like that, which will, of course, annoy you as well. Ascalon, the wonder they build, they don't put too many villagers on it, they put like three. So it's going to take a while before that actually uh, does anything to you. Uh, we are already getting some uh, trouble here from Tyre. Well, that's pretty early, I would say. I don't know if they are just attacking or what they're doing. Uh, we will upgrade to War Galley when we can. Okay, it looks like they're just scouting, so never mind. I would, I would rather get a castle up there first. 
but yeah. Alright, so I'm actually going to get some on food now. You could get some on gold, but there's an, it's not really necessary to have too many on gold when you're starting out. Uh, generally, all you want is uh, food and stone, just so you can keep pumping those villagers out and get um, get a bunch of stone at the same time uh, to, to get those castles. Because castles are very important, <laughs> apart from in the Horns of Hatton, apparently, where I had to not use them at all. Fuck that mission. I actually enjoyed this one more because it's a uh, it's just a straight up destroy two enemies uh, sort of mission. Looks like we got too many on stone right now, or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, stone is becoming a problem. We are going to get these villagers in though, so yeah, I'll just leave those the rest of those guys there. All right, so you are going to get us a our farm, and I'm going to get a couple on gold because I can. What are you doing? I don't know what... What is this villager doing? Right, so we, we're going to need to build a castle. I would say this is probably the first one you should build. Is the the one over here, if you can, but, you know. You don't have to, I, I guess. Also getting our villager on gold. And we will get our castle up right on the border here. Uh, I would say you probably still want to keep mining this stone. I don't know if I can get in sort of around the back of the mining camp and maybe get something here. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I've got too many <laughs> stone miners apparently, but whatever. I probably want to get Bodkin Arrow as well. If, if, if you can at the point when they attack, try and have Bodkin Arrow up before then. Uh, there is the triple E guard villager I was talking about. I don't think he'll ever actually, um, I don't know why he's slightly injured, but uh, I don't think he'll ever actually uh, build anything. Uh, I don't think triple E guards are going to be that much uh, of a big deal to you at all, so I'm just going to go kill this guy right now because I can, and uh, I'll be happy with that. I'll build one more night, and then we will probably just try to upgrade stuff. Uh, I would like heavy plow, but looks like I'm not going to get that. Obviously, you probably want some um, on lumber because it is going to run out pretty quickly as soon as you get all these trees done. I mean, there's one more over here, but that's it. So yeah, maybe I'll move these guys onto or girls onto gold as soon as I finish this castle here. We'll also, probably try and upgrade the. Uh, Hmm, maybe, eventually. Uh, yeah, we'll get two more villagers on farms. Alright, so these get, these girls can go on uh, gold. War, war galleys might be pretty nice for you, but I would prefer to get another castle up if you can. Is there actually going to be enough here? That is the question. It doesn't look like there's going to be enough stone here, and it looks like I've got too many villagers here anyway. So, yeah. Uh, we're, what we're going to do with this villager is build a market. Um, I don't know where here, I guess. These two can help. Build a market in case I need extra stone. And, uh, yeah. Get some more of these, and we'll get that tree before we send our, these villagers off to go gather Wumber, probably beside Hebron, over here, because they rarely get attacked, if at all, so that is pretty nice. Uh, we're going to get Iron Casting for our Knights. They are slightly upgraded already, but, you know, every little bit helps, right? That stone mine's going to run out. Uh, so, I can go for that gold, but uh, I, what I probably want to do is... Uh, Move these guys over to. I'll, I'll move these guys over to lumber, uh, over at Hebron. Right. So these three can. I don't know what these three can do. Uh, there's Askel on building a wonder. There is some of the triple E guards. Uh, what's? I don't have enough for that. All right. So. Oh shit! Really? Oh god damn it! 
Hopefully misdirection works here. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose a bunch of villagers, haven't I? Let's see. Do they, all they have is a market, really. Alright. Well, that didn't work too well. We got some of uh, Tiberius coming at us as well. Alright, so we're gonna buy some stone. And we are going to destroy these houses here. Charge! And they will say charge and we'll start to attack you now. Uh, hopefully my villagers are alive. Jesus. Right, I need to buy some uh, wood to build a lumber camp over here. And probably get some more villagers because those all died. Uh, so yeah, he's, these guys are just going to uh, die very quickly. I'm gonna buy some more wood because I am having trouble making uh, villagers here. So we are gonna try and get them over there as quickly as we can. There is a ram there at the same time, so we're gonna get our knights out to deal with that ram. Uh, it's actually not gonna be too big a deal if it just uh, runs away like that, but you know. We'll get that other castle up as soon as we can, uh, and we will also get this other knight. We'll just drag him over with one of our knights. Or if my my guys are idiots. Alright. Villagers. Well, I guess I kind of send them out there, so it's half my fault, but damn it. Alright. Well, it looks like they are going to go over here and attack, which is actually okay with me, really. Probably should lock this gate. <laughs> uh, now, ballistics. I don't have ballistics. Um, so, I don't have enough for a university. Right, there go the triple A guard. Uh, so, now we can get some more on lumber. Eventually. And we will try and get a lot more on there. Uh, I'm not going to get bow saw yet. So, Tyre will start coming at you with camels or something. Don't know what they're doing, really. Oh, man. Fucking hell, man. They, they are just determined to kill my villagers here. Alright, let's, uh, let's not do that, then. I cannot get these villagers over here. They literally are wanting to kill all my villagers. Great. <sighs> Thankfully, I have finished this here. Looks like these guys are going to be on gold for now. And that is a cannon galleon too. Oh, bombard towers! Bombard cannons! What the hell, man? I didn't even know these guys were in the fucking game. Alright, so it looks like we get three Bombard Cannons. That's not good. Jesus. The last time I played this, I'm pretty sure I saw no Bombard Cannons, so I don't even know what this is about. But I remember it being pretty, pretty hard near the start. Originally. And I've got extra guys attacking here. Jesus! This is hard, man. Right, well, as long as I can kill this, I'll be pretty happy with that, honestly. Alright, so I need some more knights, and looks like finally I can send my my knights. Um, hmm. Alright, well he's, he's destroying walls and stuff, but I don't know what he's actually doing. Alright, let's get that. I'm gonna get war galleys. Alright, so he did run away there a bit. And I definitely want some more over here. Eventually, Jesus. I got some some villagers coming out there too. Right, well, farms are running out as well, which isn't very nice. Uh, thankfully, we do have a castle here, even though they are trying to land us right now, which we don't. I don't know if they always do that, but whatever. Um, yeah. I think I'll buy wood and then get heavy plow. Remember, uh, there is quite a lot of gold on this map. You have some here once you do eventually um, claim it. Ascalon's Wonder is going to take a long time to get up, so I wouldn't worry about it for now. You definitely want to be in the Imperial Age uh, when you do have it up anyway, so yeah, I, I'm not really sure you should be worrying about it right now. But, you know, eventually it could be a concern if you don't make enough units, pretty much. I would make some Mamluks, because they're always great. Uh, they're going to be one of your most important units here, I would say. 
So yeah, just Mamluks, always good to have, so make some of them. Um, I made knights for the original uh, attacks that you get from Tyre, Tiberius, and the Triple E Guard. Not an easy start, but you, you can do what you want. Uh, I'm going to bake a war galley and stick it in there. Uh, so I am going to get a couple villagers here, and they're probably going to build a university up here. So I did get a heavy plow, okay. We're getting enough food. I probably have too many on farms, honestly. But uh, you don't. We, we'll notice that we don't have much on stone, and that is quite a lot of villagers that we have now. We're going to get four of them. Now, east of the Tripoli, where the Tripoli guards spawn, which is, I, th I believe, around there, there is some stone that I'm probably going to claim, or hopefully claim. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm waiting on a couple... Right, okay, not that much more. Alright. Come on, come on. I, I just need this, okay? Alright, you can go over here as well. Yes, the stone right here. Um, I'm gonna have to wait a sec for the... Uh, to have enough lumber. It's 100 wood for that, yeah. Uh, well, I do want ballistics, I would say, so, yeah. Uh, Tyre's gonna come at you with cataphracts as they are the Byzantines. Uh, Tyre, by the way, was the uh, pretty much infamous... <laughs> I'll probably send... Uh, this knight is probably gonna die. It uh, was the infamous place that Alexander the Great tried to take with a massive bridge. Which was quite impressive, I would say. I don't know what they're doing. Are they just running back? Alright. Ah, oh, Jesus. Farms everywhere, man. Come on. And I'm waiting for this as well. Jesus. I don't want to use the market to to buy wood so much, but apparently I don't have enough on it. I thought I had enough here. Okay, I guess I don't have that many. So, oh Jesus. Well, I don't need too much food right now. I'd say I probably uh, unbalanced my uh, supplies a bit here. But yeah, I'm not... This is pretty hard starting out, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make these villagers then go to the Imperial Age. But I definitely want more stone. You want to make as many castles as you can, really, on this scenario, because they will help you. Um, I don't think they are actually going to attack me here. I think I'll be pretty safe. Though, be aware that this is pretty close to one of Tiberius's uh, castles, so just keep that in mind. Every so often, come back and check on the Wonder. Ascalon doesn't really have too much that you need to worry about, but you definitely want to build a castle up uh, outside their base, so I would get to mining s this pile of stone fairway early on, I would say. I'm also going to get husbandry. So I'm going to get one more villager out and then we're going to go to the Imperial Age and that's when we can start attacking Ascalon. You might, you'll want to leave some guys behind for um, basically, I'm going to get some more Mamluks right now. You want to leave some behind to deal with any Tiberius sends rams at you. I don't think Tyre will actually send any more bombard cannons at you, thankfully. But uh, they might annoy you a bit. Unfortunately, this is quite a lot of resources, and we will get that going. All right. You shouldn't need much more than this uh, this amount of farms or whatever. Um, and there goes another one. Once again, we can get corrupt rotation, so that's kind of a bummer. But what can you do? Uh, we're gonna get this. I would, I would probably leave the knights instead of the mamluks actually, and I forgot I have three villagers in here, which is uh, pretty bad on my account. I completely forgot these guys were here. And I will get them to also mine stone. Or actually, maybe I can f oh, there is an art gold. Where's the other guy? I did send three out. Oh, there he is, okay. Uh, yeah, mine this gold. Am I getting hit by... yeah, my fishing ships are getting hit over there. Which is unfortunate, but not really too much I can do about that right now. Uh, I think they're gonna die. God damn it. Why have you got to do that, man? I think demo ships are just like trying to destroy walls and stuff. 
Right, so we do have some cannon galleons coming in. I'm gonna get my war galley out there. I don't know what he's thinking of here. And of course, demo ships don't help this situation at all either. Oh Jesus! Oh, it's flash of his fire ships. My bad. How can you not attack that? He's right on the shore there, and my fucking university is going down. That's enough up there. Uh, yeah, get Mamluks out. There's my plan. Eventually. You can't attack that? Are you shitting me? That looks totally in range. I might have to destroy one of these. Uh, we're gonna get Bracer first and see if I can actually reach that then. Alright. Alright, destroy. At least you can destroy that, okay? It looks like we're just barely gonna keep my university up. There's my, there's my fishing ships doing something. I wonder if I can actually pull this over with the fishing ship. <laughs> yeah, it actually worked. I think Bracer was actually enough there, just. Alright, uh, you can go and, uh, <laughs> can I get some sheep there? Okay. Uh, mining some of this gold as well. Things are a bit hectic, but what can you do? I can't believe I have so many of, so many farms running out. 